Hello everybody, how are you today? Today we're gonna to talk about the first company, XH. Horizontal recess ceiling fan coil. So these are very old machines um, by first company. And these ones are 30 years old, but they're uh, everywhere in multifamily apartment complexes. So I want to share my experience with them. So hopefully it's easier for you because at the beginning it took me forever to uh, get parts, to understand, understand the system and everything. So uh, yeah, it is in the hallway in between the bathroom, the bedroom and the living room. And uh, it is recess, it is hidden there. And uh, that's the return right there. So we're gonna talk about the most common faults, how to fix them, what to do. So uh, don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these panels so we have access to them. So I removed the covers I removed the ceiling panels and this is what we have. So we have a motor right there with two shafts, with two fans, one on the right and one on the left. And then we have the access for all the electric. I'm gonna open it in a minute, so that's it. This is the access panel right here. And then we have the tray, the condensate drain uh, tray. We have that. We have that, uh, we have the primary and secondary drain, but then we have another primary drain just in case whatever uh, you want it on the right or you want it on the left. And we see there the liquid line and the, uh, eva uh, and the suction line, and they go all the way here. If you see them there, go, they go there to the coil. So that's the coil. And this is my condensate drain uh, tray. And then the water goes here to a drain. So one more time, we have the fans there. We need to clean them. And then this one in particular has access for five supplies. One, two, three, four, five. So now I'm gonna open the access panel for the electrical so you can see what's going on there. So again, this is the access panel for the electric. And we have two screws. We have one here. And there, one here. It's a very simple system. This is a transformer, 240 volts, which is gonna feed 24 volts into this relay. So we have a 240 volts coming from here, and then 120 volts are gonna be standing by for the motor, and the other one is gonna be fed to the transformer, and then when the relay closes, is gonna feed the other 120 volts for the for the motor right there. So uh, I'm gonna take a step-by-step -step on the diagram so you understand what's going on. You know, at the beginning you open it up and you see a lot of spaghetti wires, but don't, don't be afraid. Okay, so before I show you uh, all the wiring, let, let me show you here in this, di in this wiring diagram what's going on. Now remember, this is an air conditioner only. There's no furnace. So it's a simple system and newer units have a circuit, circuit board just like this or similar like this. I mean, all the relays are like this, but this is older. So it's gonna have one switching, one relay switch here. So let's start from the beginning, uh, L2. There's 120 volts, 
and this leg is going to go to the transformer to the 240 so this is 120 and then from here a wire nut to one side of the fan motor okay and now L1 is 120 volts as well and it's going to go to one side of the normally open and the other, another wire is going to go to the other leg of the 240 so now we have 240 volts here and then the 24 volt is going to go the red wire is going to go to the R on the thermostat and then the other leg is going to go to the coil of the switching relay and when it makes it's going to go to the condensing unit this brown wire is going to go to the contactor coil okay so let's call for cool when we call for cool R and G are going to make and since we have 24 volts and on R at all the times when we make with temperature to G R and G are going to make and then the power from the hat of the transformer is going to go from R to G and Y so let's follow G G is going to go to the uh, coil of the relay and since we have 24 volts waiting here it's going to energize the coil and when the coil energizes it's going to close the normally open here and then the power is going to go to your fan so now we're going to have power to the fan motor and then we're going to have power to your condenser unit outside through the 24 volts that came through C and Y so let me talk about the most common fault the most common repairs I've experienced on these systems. So number one, it would be the condensate drain. This line, it gets clogged. So then, uh, since it's gonna be clogged right here or down the road, the water is going to overflow from the tray. And of course, your tiles are gonna be uh, messed up and they're gonna break and they're gonna fall on the floor because they're all wet and heavy. So that's number one. So what you want to do, of course, is you wanna rod this line, make sure it's clear. Uh, two, three feet from here, we have a 90 angle, 90 degree turn. So most of the time, in my case, it's like that, but it might be your pump, it might be from here or whatever. So that's number one problem. And, uh, Number two problem for this is that the fan continuously run even when the thermostat tells them to turn off. You know, even when you turn the thermostat off, you t even when they satisfy the temperature, the fan continuously run. And this is why that relay tells uh, when the thermostat calls for cool, it sends 24 volt power to that relay and that relay closes and then energize the fan. Most of, when that relay fails, most of the time it fails on the on positions so and the fan is always on no matter what you do. So what you have to do is you have to replace that relay switch right there. Very easy to do. Take a picture before you remove any wires and uh, usually it's just one and three the power for the coil and then two and four it's uh the 240 volts going to the uh to the condensing unit on the roof and to the evaporator fan motor the, the next most common problems with these systems is the uh, transformer these transformers are 240 volts, the primary, and 24 volts, the secondary, uh, but they fail due to a short. Uh, either, uh, the, uh, the low voltage wires touch the metal, the ground, and then they shut it out. Uh, so, of course, you have to find your short first, and it's usually, of course, in the uh, tra uh, thermostat wires, you know, and then find you short and then replace the 
transform. You don't just replace it because as, as, as soon as you turn it on, you're gonna fry it again. So find your short first before you replace it. The next uh, most common problem is with the thermostat, even though they are not re they are related, but it doesn't belong there. But it's a thermostat. Check your thermostat. Make sure that your wiring is correct. If you put a, your yellow, your red, and your green wire together in a wire nut and your system works, then the problem is with the uh, tr um, thermostat. So. And then the least common problem, but a pain in the butt, it's uh, the coils. The box where the coils are have holes at the bottom. And then those holes clog, uh, and that's before they go to the tray. So, uh, so if they don't go to the tray, the pressure is gonna, so the water is supposed to drain, the water is supposed to drain from here to here. So there's some holes I'm gonna show you in a minute. And when they cl get clogged, then the pressure, the wire rises, and then it comes out of the seams, out of the vents, and then it just makes a mess. So I'm gonna remove this uh, tray to show you. So to remove the drain, we have to first remove the hose out of this plastic fitting. And you have to just be careful with the water. And then we're gonna there's this bracket here holding it, holding it like that. So we're gonna remove this screw here and then you're gonna drop it, move this out of the way. So that's the bottom of the condensate box. That's the bottom of the coils. And then if you see those holes, they were not there. They supposed to have some drainage but they were clogged. I just cleaned these. I just made this hole so it drains onto the tray. But before, it was just rust everywhere. You couldn't see the, uh, the holes. So now it should be able to drain into the pan. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. If it was helpful to you, of course, like it, subscribe. And um, yep, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.